It's nice to be here. I I have an accent because I'm from a different place. That's how accents work. <laughs> and it's very interesting when you have an accent because you get to find out who's an idiot when you talk to people. You do. This girl came up to me recently. She goes, you have a bit of an accent. Where are you from? I said, I'm from Haiti. I'm Haitian. She goes, oh my god, that is like so cute. I have never been to Africa before. <laughs> I was offended for a second. How the hell do you not know that Haiti is in Brooklyn? How is that even <laughs> a question? I thought everybody knew. I go by TJ sometimes because I have a really difficult and ethnic name to pronounce, so I use my initials, TJ. But my real name is Thomas Jefferson, so I use that <laughs> to make it easy for people. You know? I don't look like a Thomas Jefferson, I don't. Maybe one of his kids, but not him. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> this joke is how I find out who went to college in the audience. <laughs> I have a thing with names. I like people's names, because you meet somebody, they tell you their name, it's supposed to match the person. Sometimes I meet people and the name doesn't match. Recently I met an old guy, 97 years old, really old, almost dead at this point. <laughs> it's 97 year old guy, you know what his name was? Kevin. That, it's fucking weird. You can't be Kevin at 97. Nobody's gonna sit by a fire listening to the wisdom of Kevin. <laughs> Kevin doesn't know shit. He's trying to be a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> he owns a hoverboard. <laughs> he wears a t-shirt with a picture of a cat. That's his crushing pussy. That's the kind of guy Kevin is. You can't trust Kevin. That's also true for women. I've never met a beautiful young little girl named Gladys. I've never seen that. You know why? Because Gladys is a grown woman who's been through some grown woman shit. Gladys is a friend with Courtney and Ashley. Those are 90s babies. You know who Gladys is friends with? Gertrude and Eunice. Those are Gladys' friends. <laughs> she doesn't know Halle Berry. She knows Harriet Tubman. Those are the people. This is what I do, and I'm an immigrant, which is very unusual. Immigrants believe in noble professions. This is not one of them. When you're an immigrant, you can basically do three things. You can be a doctor, an engineer, or a disgrace to your family. Those are your options. <laughs> That's it. If you're not saving lives or building bridges, you are no son of mine. <laughs> People get very sensitive when you talk about mothers. Because the assumption is, if you were mom, you're automatically amazing, which is bullshit. You ever go on social media on Mother's Day to see the lies <laughs> that people tell about their moms? On Facebook, everybody's mom is Wonder Woman Mother Teresa. Really? Your mom is amazing all the time. She's never done some crazy mom shit. She never got drunk and lost you at the mall. That never happened. <laughs> You're five years old, you gotta explain to some stranger where you live. You don't even know street names yet. <laughs> I live by the BLV. It's Boulevard, you motherless child. Go home. <laughs> I grew up very religious. I was raised Christian. I remember the exact moment I stopped being religious. I was about 16 years old. And I went to this girl's house. Her name was Vanessa. And Vanessa let me finger her. And I was like, I'm never going back to church. <laughs> it's what I've been praying for this whole time. <laughs> it's very entertaining to be an immigrant after the election. People were very concerned for my safety. I had friends call me, they were like, are you afraid? <laughs> I was like, no, not really. Not afraid of Donald Trump. I get why you're afraid. You're American. This is new to you. <laughs> I'm Haitian. I've dealt with so much worse than Donald Trump. I've had terrible presidents almost my entire life. So I'm very well equipped to deal with Donald Trump. He's not on the list of what I'm afraid of. Here's what I'm afraid of based on my experience. Earthquakes, hurricanes, <laughs> stubbing my toe, 
having diarrhea in a Starbucks, <laughs> and then maybe Donald Trump, maybe. Not even. People are crying after the election. Real tears. Mostly white people. Black people were like, welcome to the club, motherfuckers. <laughs> you guys have been great. I got to go. Enjoy the rest of the show. <laughs>